simply learn your pace your place financial risk manager frm part 1 of the frm exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use standard capital asset pricing model we have learned in the previous lectures about the portfolio return and volatilities and about investors choices in holding efficient portfolios lying along the efficient frontier in this lecture we will learn about the market at equilibrium that is we will derive pricing models for asset under equilibrium conditions in this lecture standard capital asset pricing model is discussed which will have a number of assumptions under ideal conditions in the next lecture we will see the effects of removing these assumptions agenda in the first model the markets will be assumed to be frictionless with various idealistic conditions we will also plot the capital market line based under these assumptions in the next lecture we will derive a model under more practical scenarios we will begin by explaining the assumptions underlying the standard model we will then study about the risk and its measures using beta finally we will learn about the security market line and how the price of asset changes with respect to the market market equilibrium let us first understand the concept of market equilibrium at equilibrium market conditions all investors are assumed to hold efficient portfolios lying along the efficient frontier and have common return and risk expectations in such a case when all investors hold the same risky portfolio it must be market portfolio in other words an equilibrium investors hold the market portfolio various models have been developed to derive the price of the asset at equilibrium the standard form of capital asset pricing model CAPM is based on the most idealistic conditions let us now see those underlying assumptions assumptions the first assumption means that there is no transaction cost or any cost of purchasing or selling the security the second assumption means that you can buy or sell any asset in fractions also the third assumption means that there are no income taxes and hence there is no difference in income from dividends or capital gains or profit from increase in the price of security the fourth assumption means that single investors cannot manipulate or affect the market by buying or selling in huge amounts 